In this class, we will present an overview of classes 5, 6, 7, and 8 in Perak HaKainis, which is a Meseches Bava Kama on Dafnun Hei Amad Beis and Dafnun Vav Amad Aleph. Let's begin. So in, the, this, in, in these classes, we were discussing the part of the Mishnah that the Mishnah taught that if robbers broke open the pen and the animal escaped and caused damage, the owner is putter for the damage the sheep caused. So in relationship to that, the Gemara presented a teaching, therefore it's in a purple arrow pointing that upwards, that we learned in a brisa, the Rabbi Yeshua taught that there are four cases where a person is putter bedini adam and chayev bedini shemaim, and the first case is connected to our Mishnah. And the four cases are, number one, if a person broke open the pen of his fellow, and one of the animals escaped and got, got lost, or multiple animals escaped and were lost, he is putter bedine adam and chayev bedine shemaim to pay for those lost animals. Case number two is hakayfif kaymas chaveire, somebody who bends the grain of his fellow in front of a fire and it caused the grain to be burnt. Case number three is somebody who hires false aid and false witnesses to testify. And case number four is when somebody himself withholds testimony that he has. In those four cases, a person has Pater Bedini Adam and Chayev Bedini Shemaim. And then the Gemara went on to present a question on each of these four cases. So we presented case one and asked. In case one, the person should be Chayev Bedini Adam, not just Bedini Shemaim. If somebody breaks the pen of his fellow, he should be Chayev Bedini Adam for breaking the pen. He destroyed somebody's wall. And the Gemara answers that it's referring to a weak wall. And therefore, there is no responsibility to pay for the wall. It needs to be destroyed anyway. And therefore, the only question is in regards to the animal that he escaped and was lost. And there, he's Pater Bedini Adam and only Chayev Bedini Shemaim. Then we presented case two and led it to the same exact question. Also in case two, the person should be Chayev Bedini Adam. If somebody bends his fellow's grain and causes it to be consumed by fire, he should have to pay for the burnt grain, because if not for him bending it over, it would not have been burnt. And the Gemara over here gives two answers. Answer number one is, it's referring to a case that the person bent over the grain, it would not have been burnt. It was only because an irregular, out of the ordinary wind came and fuel the fire to reach the bent grain that it was eventually burnt. And therefore he's Pater Bedini Adam and only Chai Bedini Shemaim because a person is not expected to anticipate an out of the ordinary wind. Then we had the answer of Rav Ashi that actually this is not referring to a case that a person bent over the grain but rather that he spread a sheet over the grain to protect it from the fire. And as a result the, the person who lit the fire is not Chayev to pay for the burnt grain since this grain is covered which is called Tamun, it's hidden. And anything that's hidden by a fire, the one who lit the fire doesn't have to pay for. However, since the individual who covered it led to this situation, that the owner of the grain is not reimbursed, he is therefore pater bedine adam, but chayev bedine shemayim. Then we presented case three and led it to the same exact question. Also here, the person should be chayev bedine adam. If somebody hired false witnesses to testify that person, a certain person, let's say person A, owes him money, and as a result, he was able to, he took money from person A based on the false testimony, he should be chayv b'dini adam to return that money. And the Gemara answers that it's not for him, it's for another. In other words, he didn't hire the Aiden to say that person A owes him money, but then of course he'll be chayv b'dini adam to return the money. Rather, he hired false Aiden to say that person A owes person B money, and as a result, person A ended up paying person B. And let's say person B is unable to return the money for whatever reason. So now this individual that caused the whole situation by hiring the false Adam, he is Pater Bedini Adam, but Chayv Bedini Shemaim to be reimbursed person A. Then we presented the fourth and final case, and over here we asked a different question. The first three cases we asked that they should be Chayv Bedini Adam. Here we asked that it's obvious. Of course, if somebody withholds testimony, he's Chayv Bedini Shemaim, because there is a mitzvah in the Torah, that a, pers- a, a, a mitzvah slaysesa, a person is not allowed to withhold testimony. So of course, if somebody breaks this open Isser in the Torah, he's going to be Chayev B'dinei Shemaim for, for doing this. And the Gemara answers that it's not referring to the case that the Torah is talking about, that it's a, a group of two Adam that are withholding Adas, or a group of t- two Adam that one withholds Adas, and as a result now there is no longer the entity of two Adam, that's what the Torah is talking about. Our case is referring to when he was the only individual that was an eight. And over there, it's not an, we don't have the Isra Menatera, and therefore it's not obvious that the person is Chayev Bedine Shemaim. After we resolve those four questions, the Gemara then moved to a side discussion, and that is the Brisa says that there are four cases where a person is Pater Bedine Adam and Chayev Bedine Shemaim. We actually find that there are more cases, and the Gemara presented five additional cases where a person is Pater Bedine Adam and Chayev Bedine Shemaim. And the Gemara answered that 
these are a chiddush. The ones in the brice are a chiddush. If not for the brice are telling us that the person is potter bedini adam and chayiv bedini shemayim, in these four cases we would think that the person is potter bedini adam and potter bedini shemayim. And therefore these four cases need to be taught. And then, then the Gemara went on to explain what's the reason we would say that by these four cases the person is not only potter bedini adam but also potter bedini shemayim, which as a result it's necessary for the brice to teach us that in these four cases, the person is not Pater B'dini Adam and Pater B'dini Shemaim. Rather, he's only Pater B'dini Adam, but he is Chayev B'dini Shemaim. So that's an overview of the classes 5, 6, 7, and 8. We presented a related Brysa. We asked a question on each of the four cases. And then we mentioned another side discussion, which is that there are actually more cases. Why does the Brysa say there are only four? We answered because these four are a Chiddush. And we went on to explain what is the Chiddush in each of these four cases.